Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, Jasper County, Indiana. We're south of Brook, and we're in a long-term no-till field, cover crops two years. It's April 1st, and this was aerial seeded September 1st. And so as you can see across here, a lot of your annual ryegrass has been winter killed, uh, just that type of winter, but the cereal rye is coming on strong. And what I wanted to show you here is this soil tilth and earthworm population. There's one, two, three, four worms in this small clod. And it's soil temperature is 30, 34 degrees today, April 2nd. And what we have here is earthworms, when they, every inch they move as through the soil, they're passing worm castings. And those worm castings are seven times richer than the soil surrounding them because they've taken these sugars and carbon from the root and soil and concentrated it into our proteins. Um, and that's the real soil building happening. You have these white roots that are feeding all then your smaller biology that um, an earthworm, you know, if you have three, four earthworms per shovelful, you know you have 20 to 30 times more microorganisms um, working for you. And that is the power of cover crops and feeding our soils year round, mimicking that fence row system that when you take a fence row out and you plant into it, those are your best yields. Well, we can do that even within our corn bean rotations if we can get a cover crop established and do that year after year. Uh, it's that rotational advantage, it's that soil health increase, all those benefits really start to add up. And what that adds up to is soil holding capacity, water holding capacity, nutrient holding capacity, all those things, and that's what we want to see. Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, Jasper County, Indiana.